This is part five of our flashlight tutorial, and in this one, it's going to be our first video on setting up our flashlight to work in a multiplayer environment. So as you can see now, when we have two players, when player one spawns in the flashlight, player two cannot see that, and vice versa. You can't see it in their hand, you can't see the actual light itself, or anything like that. I do apologize for <clears throat> my voice. So what we can do to resolve that is, well, we want the function that actually spawns the flashlight to run everywhere, so everybody knows that it happened. And a way to achieve that is with RPCs. Now, using the U function macro, we can tell it that we want it to be type net multicast. What net multicast does is pretty much says, okay, I have this function here, and it's going to run, but I want it to run on every client that is connected to our game. So if you actually read right here, multicast RPCs are designed to be called from the server and then executed on the server as well as all currently connected clients. So that means we need to create a function. Well, we're going to set it up so we call it from the client. Work from the client, we go to the server. And then from the server, we do our, we run our net multicast function. And it's quite simple. So we can go ahead and set everything up here in our header. We're going to be using it, making it in our raytrace.cpp file. So first off, just like we have right here, <clears throat> it's a u function. Type is going to be server, setting to reliable, and with validation. Now for a name, I always index this with server. And let's just call it toggle spawn flashlight. That should be good. And now we need our net multicast variant. So u function net multicast reliable no with validation. That's generally set just for the server. And void net multicast underscore spawn flashlight, just the same. Now to prevent building errors, since I'm just going to be building with this one first, I'm going to go ahead and comment out our net multicast declaration. So let's head to our CPP file. And I guess right above our toggle light switch function, since this is what's going to be running when we spawn our flashlight, will be a good place to put it. So we need to make two variants. One with validate and one with implementation. So validate is when we call, let's say we go ahead and just from the client we call server underscore call light server underscore spawn flashlight. It's going to run the validation function first and if all the conditions are met, meaning it's true, well meaning it returned true, then it runs the implementation function. So all we do is simply call the actual name, or what I'm highlighting right now, and everything else handles itself. It's quite handy. So bull u ray trace server underscore spawn flashlight. And here's where we actually need to pass in a parameter. So if you look right here, when we call our attach flashlight function, as well as our creating the flashlight, we are passing in ourselves, like our own actor. So in order for the server to know which actor we are going to be attaching the flashlight to, we need to pass in get owner or ourselves, our own actor, to this function here. So let's go ahead and add that as a parameter. So a actor, I'm just going to call it player. And we need to do that same to our net multicast variant as well. Let's go ahead and add validate to the end. And we're just going to make sure player is not null. So if player equals null pointer, return false. Otherwise, return true. And I'm just going to copy this name. 
change the type to void, validate to implementation. So we should be good to go. If I control shift B to build, we should have no issues and you can ignore these Rick squiggly lines. They should go away after a little bit. Alrighty, we're good to go on that. So let's go ahead and set up our net multicast variation. So with this, we don't have any sort of validation. So we're just going to pretty much create a function that, well, pretty much like an implementation function. So void u ray trace our name actor player and we should be good to go. Oh, score implementation. So control shift B to build just to make sure everything's good to go before we continue. And we should be good. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this code that creates the flashlight and put it in our net multicast. Even though that's kind of bad practice, but we'll Hopefully I remember to clean it up after the video because we don't want everyone's flashlight to be the equivalent of this. So from our toggle light, when we press our E key, we want it to spawn the flashlight. So we just do server underscore spawn flashlight and pass in ourselves. So we just do get owner. Then once our validation runs, it is in fact true like we're good to go. We call net multicast on flashlight from the server, and we pass in player as the parameter. Let's go ahead and build. Alrighty. Now when we play, here's player one or a server, and I press E. As you can see, he has his own flashlight. And the other client can see it just fine, and vice versa. So, that was a quick little example. I'll do a little run through. Press E to spawn in our flashlight. What runs this function here? We want these, we're pretty much asking permission for the server to run a multicast function for us. So, from the client, we call a function that runs on the server and we pass in our own actor. Now from there, yep, this one, we make sure that actor is not null, so we know in fact that it is good to go. If it does return false, this code here, well this function will not even run. But if it returns true, it's going to run all this here. So inside the server, we're going to call our net multicast function and pass in our actor again. And inside our multicast, this portion is going to be running on every single client, including the server. We're going to spawn the flashlight. We're going to create it in the world. And then we're going to call the attach flashlight function that is on our, uh, our flashlight class here. Somewhere. Here. We're going to be attaching that to our own actor that we've been passing through each function. It's relatively simple, and up next we will hopefully, well, we will be cleaning this up a little bit, and we'll be making it so we can toggle the flashlight on and off with similar to how we did the light switch. So we're going to be going into replicating variables once again. I will see you then.